Should you back up your data to an external hard drive or to the cloud? This is what we are going to talk about in today's video. Hey guys, welcome to yet another episode with CloudWoods.net and today we'll talk about what's better, backing up to an external device such as a network attached storage device or an external hard drive or use cloud backup to do the job essentially for you. So let's get started and explore some options. During this guide, we'll be looking at the fundamental advantages and obviously disadvantages of both cloud backup services like for example Carbonite and external backup solutions. We'll talk about single disk portable drives and multi-disk RAID and NAS solutions like the Synology Disk Station, for example. In the end, we'll show you why the best approach to ensure your data is never lost is one that essentially combines both a local and a cloud backup solution. Understanding the difference between cloud storage and cloud backup is the first step in making sure your data is secure. We've just produced another video um, that, uh, that you can really find right here, and it explores a little bit the, the difference between cloud backup and cloud storage. Many people use cloud storage services like Dropbox and Google Drive to protect their files. The reality, though, is that those services are better designed for getting work done than safeguarding content or synchronizing files. Even cloud storage services that put an emphasis on security, like Sync.com and pCloud, aren't well suited to recover from a hard drive failure or corruptions and crashes. The main issue using cloud storage services for backup is that they, fo that they force you to move content into a connected cloud syncing folder. Cloud backup services, meanwhile, let you store files without having to move content around on your hard drive. You can maintain your device's exact file system structure in the cloud and then recover it precisely when needed in the exact same structure. Let's talk about why I like the cloud so much. Hard drives don't last forever. Delicate mechanical parts can be damaged from drops, from overheating, water, accidents, what have you. Even if you take very good care of your computer, normal wear and tear on the drive's physical components will eventually cause it to fail. The cost of recovering data from damaged or faulty drives can be exorbitant. For example, electronics retailer Best Buy charges between $200 and $1,450 based on the severity of the issue. Even then, recovery is no guarantee. Cloud backup solutions let you recover your data no more than the, for no more than the cost of your subscription, regardless of whether you spilled your coffee on your laptop or got it run over by a dump truck. Thanks to strong competition among cloud backup services, that cost is generally affordable for anyone. Backblaze and Carbonite give you unlimited backup for just $5 per month per device. Here's a small comparison table for, for you to explore. When you store your files on the cloud, you're really storing them on a remote server. The obvious concern is that those servers use hard drives themselves, just like the drive in your computer. These are essentially susceptible, susceptible to disk damage and the ravages of time, obviously. Good cloud backup providers go to great lengths to make certain inevitable failures don't result in, in data loss for you. Carbonite provides a nicely detailed white paper on their data security practices, so we'll use them as an example. In short, they use redundant data storage and hardened data centers with 24-7 surveillance to protect files stored inside these facilities. But let's face the truth. Despite the obvious advantages, many people still don't routinely back up their computers. According to a 2015 survey conducted by Backblaze, only 8% of people back up their data daily. 25% never back up at all. Part of the reason for this may be a lack of understanding or just how easy most cloud backup providers make the whole process. iDrive, for example, lets you manually select folders and files that you want to uh, be copied via a handy desktop tool. A few services like Carbonite make the process even simpler. Carbonite also grants you the use of a desktop tool, but rather than having to manually select files and folders, 
the service automatically marks all files of a certain type for backup. Carbonite can do this because they offer unlimited backup. That means you don't have to pick and choose what data you're going to back up and what data you're going to risk losing in the end. Automatic file backup also means you don't have to search your hard drive's file system for every piece of content or every file you want to save and possibly overlooking some of the files in the process that are important to you. In the rare case that a file type isn't automatically tagged, with Carbonite you can just right click on the file and mark it for cloud backup. Desktop tools can also be used to initiate hard drive recovery. However, sometimes you might need to retrieve a file while using someone else's computer so that you don't have to download a tool to do so. Cloud backup services also let you access your content via browser-based tools. And that really is really helpful. While these are obvious advantages for cloud backup services, there are a couple of drawbacks as well. One is upload speed. Depending on your internet connection, it can take several weeks to back up terabytes of data. Or recovery, for that matter, can take longer as well. To mitigate the disadvantages of cloud backup services, I can highly recommend combining them with a local backup strategy. And let's explore some of the benefits of local backups for that. Now, accessibility and speed are the primary advantages of local backups. In the event of a hard drive failure, you don't have to wait days or even weeks while your new drive is rebuilt, pulling content from remote servers. Most local backup solutions use USB 3.0 connectivity, which supports up to 5 gigabit per second speeds. For Mac users, 10 gigabit per second speeds are technically possible if you can find a backup device that supports Thunderbolt. Costs for local storage will depend on the type of device you choose. Choices range from portable external hard drives to multi-disc rate and NAS solutions. And obviously, hardware is a one-time investment. But remember, hardware tends to fail after a few years. As a freelancer, I prefer a location-independent lifestyle. Since I like to travel light, a portable external hard drive works best for me. Such drives tend to range from one terabyte to five terabytes, which will accommodate, well, essentially most people. Seagate and Western Digital are the most popular picks. Other options like the Transcend StoreJet M3 and the Lacia Rugged Mini are better choices if you're rough on your gear thanks to their rubber anti-shock housing and maybe an option for you as well. Then there are more intelligent external hard drives called NAS, which stand for Network Attached Storage and allow multiple local device connections thanks to wireless technology. I have one from, from Synology right here next to me. While not as fast as a wired connection, NAS systems are still much faster than connecting to cloud backup centers over the internet. Anyway, NAS systems also offer you the choice of USB connectivity to speed up any larger backups or restore operations or even connect through uh, local area networks, which makes it even more faster. Basically, a NAS system lets you create your own personal cloud backup center. No service underscores this more than Synology's CloudStation setup. Install CloudStation server on your NAS system and CloudStation drive on your computer, and you can manage your data backups and restorations with relative ease, just like with Carbonite. Synology even includes mobile apps to connect to your NAS solution while out and about. They manufacture a, raise, a range of NAS options to fit different needs and budgets. So, what is my final recommendation? At cloudwoods.net, we tend to recommend a strategy called 3-2-1. The essentials of this strategy are simple and rather intuitive. Keep at least three copies of your data. Maintain copies on at least two different mediums or devices. And then keep at least one copy off-site. I would alter that to read 331. That's because using three mediums, your device hard drive and external hard drive and cloud backup, lets you take advantage of speed benefits of local storage and the increased security that comes with keeping your content stored in a hardened data center. 
Many of the best cloud backup solutions accommodate this strategy by letting you manage your local storage device through their desktop application. This helps you cut down on the amount of work you have to do and ensure you don't accidentally overlook some files. Combining local hard drives and cloud backup is the best way to go because it combines the benefits of both worlds. So I hope you like this video and obviously leave your comments and questions below and I hope you give me some feedback on this video and obviously as always subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.